By George, I may have it. It's Leah. It's the Mod Maid. I may have figured out how to record videos. It's crazy. I don't even want to admit how I figured it out. But I've been messing with my phone for about mm, two hours. But the video is going to be worth it. It's, uh, it's Leah. It's a Timu haul. This is officially number four. One of mine was just a little mini haul. So 3.5. I'm going to have to ease off the Timu hauls. Uh, some lady I was watching said she thinks the prices are going up now that we're all sucked in. I don't watch it daily to, to see if the prices have gone up. But, uh, you know, I've probably explored what I'm mainly interested in for right now. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is a, a bit of a, a heftier haul, I would say. Did get quite a few goodies. This time around, I searched junk journal items. So the majority of those items are that, but there is a few variety of things in here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, first up, as you can see on my camera, I did get some of the pins. Well, both kinds of pins. We've got some paper clips. I got a package of the books with hearts. And then also the coffee cups. They seem to be a bit of a copper color. All right, yeah, don't make things more complicated here. I also got a uh, Pride Ally pin that I wanted to use for work. So I work at a university with a large population. So it's kind of small, but it says, you can be yourself with me. So I thought that was nice. There you go. Look at my new... Ah, sorry, I'm so excited because I've been looking at stuff, trying to figure things out. I did go back to the ring section at Timu and I got this turtle with a little starfish, which I don't think fits on any of my fingers. Ah, it kind of fits. Well, it's cute. And, you know, the rings aren't too terribly expensive. I did get... Let me pull this into view here. This was less than a buck. It is to put around your finger to let you know what size your ring sizes are. So that was a handy little gizmo. I did purchase one other ring, one with little posy flowers. Did I already get this? I'm getting confused. It's cute. It uh, Does it fit any of my fingers? Yeah. There you go. Fits on my little finger. Hopefully it doesn't turn my finger green, right? Okay, uh, next up in our Timu haul, I did get one pair of earrings. Look at those babies. Those are little, uh, again, I guess it's boba. It's a little purple. It's got, it's a raspberry or a strawberry in there. <gasps> Look at it, it's even focusing, maybe. Maybe. Don't get too excited here, Miller. These are big. I like them. They're nice. And, let's see. What can I show you to show the size comparison? Here's a bottle of paint. If that gives you an idea of how big those puppies are. But I have long hair, so I like longer earrings. I think I said that in another video. That was the only pair of earrings I got. Um, what I notice is that when I have insomnia, I look at Timu. And usually when I have insomnia, I also do not have my glasses on. So Lord knows what I end up with. But this was pretty clever. I'm going to take this to work. It, uh, it's a sticker or maybe a... Uh, maybe, no, it is a sticker. It is a shortcuts little guide. So, you know, like your control D, that type of thing. This might make things a little easier at work or make me look smarter. I don't know. All right, that has nothing to do with junk journaling. So let's go to the items. Oh, wait, one other item that's kind of, I'm gonna try to pull it over here. 
This is, a, I did go for another clothing item. <laughs> I would call it a moo moo. <laughs> Isn't that what they call them? Again, I was looking for something to wear when you get out of the pool. It has lace for the shoulders and it's sort of silky. As you can see, it's very pretty purple. It was definitely a last minute decision to buy, which is always when I'm, oh, I'll just go ahead and buy it. Maybe that's good or bad, I don't know. All right, let's get into the junk journal stuff, right? Let's move this up here. I got this pad of paper. It is a uh, post-it note. It's not too terribly sticky. I was thinking I need some better vernacular for types of paper. But it feels a little bit like construction paper. I was thinking it reminds me of paper when you were a kid when you'd get little notebooks of construction paper. If that means anything to you guys, that's from a 70s reference to those little notebooks we used to get. I also tried one of these. I've seen these on a few people's hauls. Very pretty. And I have one already stuck here. It is a type of washi. So it's just washi strips. Let me go through a few for you. They're very lovely. I would definitely go for these again. There's some hydrangea. Well, the bird's tail got cut off there. Uh, these will look nice in junk journals and I was just learning about uh, what a master board is. Oh, look at that. Lovely strawberries just uh, ripening. Master boards are like you take a 12 by 12 paper and you put all sorts of different strips and then and then you cut on it like you cut out tags and things. So you might get a little strip of this and a little strip of that. You know what I mean? I haven't tried it yet. That was a new one on me, but I'm gonna try it. And you could use this for master boards. Um, these were lovely. I think I will look for some more of those. Okay. This one is one of those, I probably didn't look at the size. Uh, this is like little mini ledgers. Elvis is coughing, so I apologize. Well, I don't apologize. Thank you, honey. You okay, hon? These are very, very tiny. Uh, this is definitely the case of I did not read the actual size of them. Uh, it is a little bit see-through. I mean, I'll use them. They're cute enough. But I think I thought they were bigger. All right, next up. Oops, now I'm going to knock my thing. I'll get there. I'm getting there. Next up is, this one said, Vintage Sticky Note. And there's a whole bunch in here. Let me, I pulled some out. Just trying to be prepared here. here. Let me move these out of the way. Oh, at first I was like, whoa, cool. American Bandstand. That's really funny because I've been watching uh, old bandstands on YouTube. Not in the 60s, more like the 80s. But so these are very thin. Again, almost see-through paper. It said they were vintage sticky notes. There's nothing sticky about these. And some of them are okay. Let's see, hidden in the heart of the small stars, life can be bright. But other ones I'm not crazy about because they have this white edge around them, which just makes them, like you would think that would mean that they're a sticker, but they're not a sticker. So I, I probably wouldn't recommend these. They're all right. I'll use them. But I don't like the border around them. There's a whole bunch. I also kind of not crazy about the how thin they are. But they weren't too terribly expensive. All right. Next up. I keep those bandstand ones there. I always set aside my favorite ones. I don't want to lose those. Keep those aside. Uh, let's see. Next up, I've got some more stickers. I saw these right when I first heard about Timu. 
and they were out for quite a while. They finally came back in. I did the, uh, you know, alert me when they come back. They are, uh, we'll call them gentlemen of the 50s or the 40s, I guess. Very well-dressed men. Wasn't a whole bunch. He's going hunting. What's he got in his hand? Maybe his newspaper. Oh, I think it looks like it says Life Magazine. He's peeping for something. Well, that sounded weird. Um, this guy, I thought, kind of looked like... Um, well, he looks like Walt Disney, doesn't he? He's got his pipe. He's got his hat. Oh, no, no. This is the one I thought looked like Walt Disney. Am I allowed to say that without getting sued? Even using his words? So, you see, there's not a whole bunch in there, but they're pretty fun. I um, thought they were really unique and something different to put in my journals. And I got my first Timu Hall, I got those women crying. I mean, they, you know, they were crying out. So I think they should be on one side. And then these handsome men on the other. Silly. Okay, they're sticking on this. Next up, you saw one of the stickers fell within. I got another. I did go back to the stickers. And I got a, a pack of stickers about reading and about books. I work to support my reading addiction. Here's one. Pride and Prejudice. Sense and Sensibility. All this reality is cutting into my reading time. So it was all about uh, a package of book ones. Oh, I like that one. Cutie. I like this one too. Little cutie. So some of them are pretty, some of them, I think you get the idea. I wanted to show you my, well, wait a minute, she, I'm so silly, she should go with him, huh? <laughs> We're going to put her over with those boys. <clears throat> emotionally, emotionally attached to fictional characters, I think many of us can relate to that. This one's my favorite. Um, oh yeah, reading is my jam. This one's my favorite. Book Hangover. The struggle of trying to reconnect with reality after finishing a really amazing book. Oh, I mean, it's, it is a hangover. It, it hurts sometimes. You want so much more from those characters. You know what I mean? So that was a nice pack. There's more I just... Kind of pulled out a few to show you. All right, we are doing a Timu haul. It's your buddy the Mod Maid. Here is another uh, one that I did not read the size. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep laughing every time I look at it. Um, you know, it's supposed to be like it's a die and it's like little Polaroids, right? Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. I looked at it. I guess I should have known by the price, but wow. Those are tiny. There's my finger in there. Um, but I was thinking it could be cute because you could put like June or, you know, you could put letters in there. It could be super cute. But it was, again, probably looking at Timu while I have insomnia without my glasses. <laughs> so I, I don't want to lose that. Let's see, uh, here was another item that I got uh, when I looked up junk journals. This is pretty big, as you can see. I was trying to find my ruler, I can't find it. But it, it does look like um, a ledger, something where you'd put uh, a receipt. Has a lot of room to write. It did get kind of smushed in the package. I suppose if they did start putting things in boxes maybe they would start charging for shipping i don't know but it's okay if it's a little smooshed yeah this is a good a good set i'm pleased with that purchase let's see i'm going into next up i did get a few dies and stamps this one is actually a die and stamp set 
This is a record album. Here, let's move that. This is to look like a record album. So you cut that, and then it does have the record die to go with it. So as if the record's coming out of the record album. You got some music notes and some stars. And then this is just a note, but then I did get the stamp set to go with it. And if you can see those like that, where it says totally jazzed for you or hello friend, those will fit in that basically like the label for the record. And then the circles do fit inside the record where it says, thank you, or you rock. There is a little mini record. So this was a set that was, I mean, they were sold separate, but when I make these dies, I will come back on and show you how they all look. So I was pleased with that set. That was something I hadn't seen before. All right, now I've got another die. I did already put these in their envelope, so sorry about the, the noise it's making. How about this one? Isn't this sweet? I want to tell you a little bit about me and dies. Um, you know, back in the day, I had a Cricut. I hardly ever used it. And one of my dear friends, a good 10 plus years ago, gave me a big shot. And it sat for years. I just, I didn't have the right tooling for it. I didn't know what I was doing with it. And I just, I'm like, oh God, I don't want to get into another thing, you know, because you were buying the like, cricket cartridges. And then all the dyes started coming along. So I was kind of really late to the dye game, but somewhere along the way, probably around the time of the pandemic again, uh, I was like, oh, maybe I'll start trying it. And, you know, once you start, you get a little addicted. I think I have an earlier video where I talk about starting to buy dyes. Well, I started buying some, and some of them are just too small, like tiny, tiny stuff. And this one it borders on being too small. I don't really like things quite this small. Um, but as you can see, it's a flower cart. And so I'm trying to be a little more picky about my dies. I do like how it comes out. And then they look so nice on a card. This is going to look beautiful on a card. So I'll show you that one when I also get it. When I cut it out. So I am a little bit addicted to dies, but I try to be really careful. Because they can get expensive. Um, I have three more items for this haul. Uh, this was probably a mistake. Lord knows I didn't need another, like, bag of any sort. But I, I was attracted to it because it looked like a really good bag to put your markers in, put some stickers, put your um, travel notebook, just to be able to put it all in there. It is lined or um, cardboard so of course it's kind of all smooshed up it's just I mean you know it's cheap I liked the size of it I thought it would be good again to just put um, you know to go back and forth to work when I take my little notebooks and stuff and I guess the jury's out on this one I don't love the color but We'll just wait and see how I feel about that one. Probably. Was that a Timu fail? Maybe. I think so. It very well might have been. Okay. Two more items. <laughs> Leah is laughing because I've been ranting about trying to avoid duplications, right? Dupes of other makers. This one, I started thinking about it. I put it in my cart and I bought it and I'm like is this a dupe and I I still haven't looked if it is um I adore uh teacups and drinking tea I like this tea bag look but I started thinking that this design looks a little bit like a designer that starts with a d from England I'm not sure. I haven't checked, but I hope not. 
Those are so cute. I saw um, on Strawberry Cream's channel, she had, I think it was KS Craft dies of tea bags. And I, I really want to get that. Super cute. So I got these stamps. One more item of this Timu haul. Uh, besides, I did get some um, compression gloves. Sorry, I took those in the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know if you needed to see the compression gloves, but that was the other item. Okay, full confessional time. I feel like these videos, I should just go to confession. This is a duplicate of a designer, and I bought it from Timu. And am I sorry? <laughs> this die is like 30 bucks, and I really just wanted it for the, as you can see, it's like got a little mini folder. I have spent plenty of money to that particular designer, enough to probably go to Europe at least 10 times. So I love him and I apologize. <laughs> but I bought a Timu dupe. I'm sorry. I know it is because I wanted this since it came out. Will you guys forgive me? Oh, I love this. But these numbers and letters too small. Like I was just saying, this stuff's a little too small, but this, this one looks like a old, um, what do you call it? A drive that you put in your old computers. I'll cut this out and I'll let you know how it shows up. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed my Timu haul once again. It's been fun shopping with them, but I'm going to take a break. I'm putting this out here on my video. It's probably best I let's let's maybe let's let's see it's the end of June how about September September I'll make another Timu haul that seems like a hold myself to it I would like some more of these those were pretty thanks so much for watching please like and comment and tell your friends that crazy Leah has a video channel now and she may have finally figured out what the heck she's doing. Woohoo! You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!